Okay, uh, so now I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to do uh, an extra assignment. Uh, some of you uh, may have uh, figured that out, but uh, just going to show you uh, how to do it. And uh, first of all, open the uh, Photoshop and then create new. And then go to the film and video section and then choose the uh, HDV and HDTV 720p option and click create. And uh, if you don't see this uh, timeline uh, panel, then you go to a uh, uh, window and click this one on and you will be able to see this timeline. One of the first thing that you should do is click this one. And then the other second thing you should do will be uh, set timeline frame rate to be 12 frames per second and click OK. And then you can, by moving this one left to right, you can zoom in the uh, timeline and and the, uh, this we, we will use it as the uh, background layer so we are not going to draw anything on this layer and and after then click this one create a new layer and we will have this uh, this new layer and you can see this layer is transparent so there's nothing on it yet and the, uh, and if you click this one this uh, double click this one the hand tool uh, the screen will be zoomed in and uh, the pen swinging pendulum assignment is I want you to do I want you to animate something like this okay okay so let's try to make it together at first and uh, uh, what I what I do is choose this uh, uh, elliptical market tool and make the sphere and if you press shift it down, it should actually make the uh, uh, perfect square, I mean perfect uh, circle. And then you can click uh, shift F5 and this window will open up. If you don't see that, uh, if it doesn't happen, you just go to the edit and then click this fill. And make sure that foreground color, you choose that uh, for contents and opacity should be 100 click OK and then we're gonna choose this time a rectangular market tool and then just uh, draw it something like this it doesn't have to be exactly in the center but try to be the best as best you can and then again either uh, shift F5 or go to the edit and select this fill and then click OK. So now, if you deselect by uh, press uh, Command D on a Macintosh computer, or you can just uh, you know click uh, anywhere off screen, then then it will deselect. And now we have this uh, this pendulum, and so we can rotate this right, left and right. So what we're gonna do is try to figure out the, uh, the key pose, right? Key pose and then uh, key frame, key pose. And then we're gonna think about the in-betweens next. So if you see, if you observe the, uh, how the pendulum moves and the uh, length of the other uh, string, let's say uh, I, make, I made it a little thicker than uh, it maybe it should be, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you see it here, this length doesn't change, and the um, and gravity is pulling it hard down, and so it just uh, it just uh, swings from left to right, right to left, right. And then if you see no, if you notice that uh, because of the length of the string doesn't change, uh, it kind of makes a it, it makes a circle, right, uh, from here to here. And then the center of that, uh, the movements uh, is right here on top. So that's what we're going to do. So then how can we rotate this pendulum uh, center around here? Uh, there is one tool you can do to make it everything easy. If you go to our transform, uh, edit and, and transform, and you can select the... Uh, 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 oh, you can select your free transform, uh, Command T, and then once you do that, you can move these uh, pivot points 
to the top. And then basically you can move this one around and it will look like a pendulum. But the, uh, there's one problem uh, you will con uh, confront is if you uh, uh, click enter or return key, uh, that free tomb will disappear. But if you, let's say if you make that again, if you apply that again, free transform tool again, you see uh, now it's that pivot points will be not exactly up here. It was here before, but you have to make a pivot points here. You can, you can do eyeball and it doesn't really matter then. If you have a good eyeball, then and it doesn't really matter. But uh, to make it easy, uh, if you want to be, if you are kind of person who, who likes it to be precise, then we can keep this uh, as is. And then we're going to make the, uh, uh, while keeping this as is, so that we can copy and duplicate and use it multiple times. Uh, and we're going to uh, create the uh, uh, keyframe on either side. So what, uh, you will see what I mean by that uh, soon enough. So I'm going to keep this one and then copy and paste. And I'm going to move this one to the, uh, to the side, to the next to uh, this frame. So and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, 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 press uh, Command T. Oops, uh, you have to click this one and make sure everything is connect, uh, uh, correct. And uh, oh, and the other thing is, you have to because um, I'm going to actually move this one to the to the to the right, right? There's a two two uh, two layers right now. And uh, if you wanna, let's say if you are, if I wanna move this one to the right, you have to be there for that layer on the timeline. This one is this this uh, frame is actually layer two, and layer one is this one on the time frame. So if you click it, it's gonna show it on timeline which one you selected. So you have to be there. Uh, you have to move that cursor to there, and then Command T, and then now you will see, uh, you know, the free transform tool appear, and and then I'm going to move this one. By default, it should be kind of snap. And also, if you don't see this uh, pivot points, it's likely that this this option uh, is off. So make sure that you turn it on, and then move it to the top and to the center. And then I'm going to move this one to here, right? Like how, how much angle, it doesn't really matter. You decide. And then, and then I'm going to copy this once again because this one is in the center, right? And then paste it right there. So right now I have, um, oh, yeah. So it's just paste it right after then. So I'm going to, uh, what I will do, is I'm going to move this one to here. So if you see here, it, it moves to that uh, to the right and it comes back. Right now, uh, there's no in betweens, so it's almost like uh, it trans uh, it transport uh, itself like uh, in space and time. So it's it's not quite right, but uh, we get, just so we are what. We are trying. What I'm trying to do right now is to trying to get your key frame, key pose positions, right? Positions and uh, rotations correctly first. So after that, I'm going to cop copy and paste once again. So I have two of these uh, right now. So this one I'm going to uh, command T again, and then oops. So see, uh, you have to move your pivot points first and then move it to the left. So now let's see, right? Now let's see. I'm going to, uh, oh, once I click OK, return, I'm going to move this one to fit into exactly the same length with everything else so that when I play, it's going to play from here to here, right? So now, if you don't, if you if you see uh, your video is not looping, then make sure that you click this this uh, icon, and then make sure that you uh, click this one on, okay? And then after that, if you press spacebar, it will play back, or you can just uh, click this one.
So now it, the, the pendulum has swings, right? But it's not quite correct, right? Because why? Because you also your time is spent on one key position is maybe too long. And also there should be uh, more movements, right? Between from here to here, right? There should be more. And also from here to here, there should be more. So what I mean by that is you have to create uh, a lot of in-betweens. How can we do that, right? So we move this one for now to the side. So there's nothing in between, right? Between this one and this key, po the key frame pose and this key frame, there's nothing in between. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. So I'm going to place this one. And then I'm going to move this one. Again, Command T. Make sure that you have it here, the pivot points. And then I'm kind of moving it to a, like a, almost in the center. But like uh, I don't see uh, like uh, the key poses, right? So I don't know. I, I'm just eyeballing where it should be in between those. Oops. So eyeballing, maybe uh, if you have like a really good eyeballing skills, it should be okay. But uh, we want to know, right? Exactly. So if I just play back now. So it's, it's too slow also. And also, I want to know where they are, where things will, should be. I want to know, not uh, instead of like eyeballing, guessing, I want to see either side of the keyframes. So for that, I just undo it for now. And then what I do is, I'm going to turn on the uh, onion skin, right? Onion skin settings. So as soon as I turn it on, but I want to also see, uh, also you can see it's slightly moved. So which is good that I turn on the onion skins. So now I see uh, the positions are not exactly uh, where it should be. So I'm going to press five and press five. So now I see frame before and after. It's gonna, it's gonna show uh, uh, the next frame uh, up to uh, five frames before then and after it, right? So. And I'm going to click OK for now. So right now, so I click that. I'm going to Command T again. And bring this one up to the uh, this exact center. And then I'm going to move this in between. And also I'm going to sort of move it uh, so that it's going to move uh, to where it should be. For now, I'm going to uh, put it in almost exactly in the center and click OK. So now uh, I'm going to just match this one. I mean, it's not really important, but I'm going to match this one exactly so that. So now I, the uh, onion skin is uh, annoying. So I'm going to turn up the enable onion skins option there. So now if I play back. So now I, it's good that I have this in between. But I want to make it shorter, right? Because it shouldn't be too long. It, it shouldn't take too long. So how can I make it faster? By giving this frame uh, less duration, right? So I make it faster by make it shorter. So now I'm just giving it two frames for now. Let's see. So it's much faster, right? So, and here, Let's say uh, it came back to the center. So when it comes back to the center, right? There should be uh, also, it shouldn't just uh, transport itself in space. There should be in between as well. Uh, so it comes back from here to here. But then wait, uh, from here to here, it's kind of same, right? So I'm just going to, what I'll do is I'm going to shift click and then move it to the side. I'm going to copy and go here and paste. Oops, well, um, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then I'm just moving one to the side, to here. And then, like this, right? So if I see it, ah, something is not right, right? The position is moved. So I should do uh, more uh, uh, when I paste it. I should do a paste in place, right? 
Uh, I didn't do that paste in place, so it's moved. So let's go back to make it easier. So I click hit copy by pressing Command C, and then I'm going to what I'm going to do is place uh, going to the edit and paste special paste in place. So let's see if it's it's exactly the same position. So it should be fine now. If I move this one to here, and I'm going to move it back. Let's see. Okay, so it's a little bit better, but it's this position is actually a little bit moved to the right. So let's see. Uh, if I turn on the onion skin once again, it should have the same options. So this one right here, this position, I if you see it here, it's moved from the center. So I'm just going to move back by command pressing Command T, or you can do a uh, Free transform here, you can select that. And I'm just uh, going to move it and match up the center point a little bit better. Okay, so now let's see. Oh, and then I'm going to turn up the, uh, this enable onion skins. So it's much better, but then you can see this one also takes too long in the center. Right. Each one of them taking a little too, too long. So I'm going to just make it everything a little shorter. And then up, just up to here for now. And I just want to see the movements up to here, right? So Let's see, okay? So I think up to here, it's a little bit better. But it could be even better. Uh, maybe I can shorter, make it shorter this. And if you see it here, uh, this one also, I can make it a little bit shorter, faster. What I mean by that is faster. And then, of course, if you want to make it smooth, more smooth options, you will have to add more in-betweens, right? To make it smooth. So try to figure it out. And uh, what else you have to do to make it uh, more, look more natural? And uh, you can do that. I'm sure you can do that. And try to do it as best as you can. Okay. And there is uh, just try to get your timing and spacing as correctly, uh, as best as you can. Uh, that's the uh, most important part of this uh, exercise. Okay. So if you have any questions, please ask me, send me an email or uh, uh, Play, uh, just uh, write a comment in the um, assignment or anywhere, and uh, not anywhere, but the, uh, to that the assignment, okay? Or send me an email. That will be the best. Okay. So good luck. Have fun.